Inside Wisconsin is brought to you by Baycare Clinic, Cobblestone Creek, the University of Wisconsin Platteville, Mill Home Supper Club, Festival Foods, Capital Credit Union, North Star Mohican Casino Resort, American Family Insurance, Roll Tech, and by Miller Lite. Helpful critiques, ideas, great stories, people we should know, the great bar in your town, the fish fry that you want to know, the fish boil, anything that you want to reach out to us with, we are happy, we are here. You can be the inputters. We're here to listen. So speaking of dog days in winter, we got to keep the dogs warm, John, and we've teamed up with yeah. American Family Insurance again. It's called Boots for Kids. Do you remember how many pairs of boots your kids went through when they were young? I mean, a lot, right? Yeah, they, yeah, it, it is. Listen, it's imperative, right? And, and it's yeah. it, as much as they keep the head cover because you don't want to heat. If your feet get cold, you're just cold. When the Game feet over. feel right, everything, yeah, it's just absolutely the worst. And my son, so they're just down in Arkansas. They have the worst storm they've had in 10 years. His <laughs> boots are obviously up here. Luckily, mom and sister were going to visit with him. And you never saw a kid happier in his life to have his boots back. <laughs> Get the um, boots on the feet. Right, because I got great shoes, Dad, but not only are they not warm, um, they're going to get messy in the snow. Yeah. So, well, and yeah. this time of year especially, kids yep. bust through these things, right? They outgrow them and all that yeah. stuff. There's all mm -hmm. sorts of different, you know, bits and gloves for kids and hats for kids. Yeah. With American Family Insurance and Inside Wisconsin, we want to do a boot drive. So boots Let's for kids, out. head to InsideWisconsin.com slash AmFam. Check out a participating agent near you. And just pick up an extra set of boots, take them to the agency or ship them to the agency. Amazon is uh, pretty cool with that these days. Yeah, but let's right just off. see if, yeah, we'll drop them off. They'll put them on the front door. Let's just see if we can make sure that any kid in Wisconsin that needs boots here to get through winter has a pair. Go to InsideWisconsin.com slash AmFam. It is Boots for Kids with our friends at American Family Insurance. Good chance. Show some humanity. This is a spot, right? We're not on any side of anything. We're not divisive. Just help kids, help kids be warm. Yeah, keep those dogs warm. Maybe they'll hold on for next season. Anyway, get it done. InsideWisconsin.com slash AmFam. Boots for kids. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly with American Family Insurance. We're back inside Wisconsin. Trevor Thomas, John Anderson, and Bonnie Blair, six-time Olympic medalist. Five of those are gold. We just got to see those. Just your basic gold so medals just granted, to, yeah. <laughs> all right so it's lightning round i don't do lightning round that's john but i got a few more here uh, Bonnie, okay. you, you grew up with us in wisconsin you maybe got here as you were an adult right and you trained here but there are some names that you're affiliated with in 1995 when you went into the wisconsin hall of fame the wisconsin sports hall of fame <laughs> listen to this al mcguire oscar robertson robin yount and then dan jansen and bonnie blair i mean is there anybody from a wisconsin name standpoint bonnie that you're just like man those people are cool that must have been an experience no it it was it was um it was really cool it was a really fun evening and um they they it was actually done um in was it in mecca or was it on the floor of you know, what was the old basketball stadium and that like totally re like you felt like you were in a ballroom somewhere. It was just, it was just really cool. And then to hear the stories of those guys um, and you know, what they talked about and things like that, it was just something that was, was really pretty special to be part of. Um, and then to be able to go um, and be part of that too with Dan Jansen you know, like one of my best friends, um, you know, we're, we're almost as close as brother and sister. And, um, for us to be inducted at the exact same time was really pretty special. Dan Jansen, you couldn't go anywhere without being attached to his name back in the day. It was Bonnie Blair and Dan Jansen. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, Wisconsin right. was proud of you. Yeah, so company. here's my last one. Wisconsin. Inside Wisconsin is 100% dedicated to the people, the stories, and the statriotism of America's dairy land. I hope you felt that statriotism when you were doing everything that you did and being connected to Wisconsin. So, Bonnie, tell us what Wisconsin means to you. Yeah, you know, I um, like I said, you know, when 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 we are actually able to, you know, be over at the Olympics and you're representing your country and and or, your, you know, your state, your hometown, that kind of stuff, um, you really did feel 
um, that support. And, you know, I, I think the other thing is speed skating is um, such a big connection here to um, the Milwaukee area that for sure um, the state, the city really latches on um, to those of us that are part of this sport and in this area. Uh, uh, you know, and we've been very lucky to, um, you know, have the likes of um, the different um, sportscasters, um, you know, really, you know, rally around us. Um, the Lance Allens, okay. the Tim Van Vorns, um, those guys um, – that Gary D'Amato from um, the Journal Sentinel, you know, these guys, they really know our sport. And because of that, then that's kind of nice because then they can, you know, share that with all of, um, you know, the Wisconsin area, the Milwaukee area. And, and like I said, it, it, it just makes you um, feel appreciated, like, you know, feel like you're loved and that you've just got tons of support from here. And, Amen. um, and that's, that's, it's priceless. It, it really is. Cool. So when Trevor does the lightning round, it's like a Hallmark movie. Okay. He's just, that's all he is. He's Joe Wagner in a Hallmark Christmas movie. I, I'm more like the Adam Sandler touch here. So <laughs> I, I don't know how this is going to go, but this is, this is, we are not going to tug on anybody's heartstrings here at all. Okay. Okay. All right. First off, when was the last time you put on a racing suit? Ooh, uh, <laughs> I probably a couple of years ago, I tried one on of like what the latest material is probably sure. like four years ago. Uh, you've done both uh, in the Olympics. Do you prefer skating indoor or out? Oh, indoor, just for the fact that you know that it's fair conditions are going to be the same all the way around. So yeah, for sure. Indoor. Uh, hot chocolate or hot toddy? Um. Oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> I guess hot chocolate. Okay. We're listen. We're old enough. You could. You could. You could. Go I, know, I know. I know. But I'm, yeah. my my great my my grandma had a hot toddy every night before she went to bed. God bless grandma. I bet those were some stories. There you go. Okay. Which one of these did not did Eric Hyden not win? 5,000, uh, the 500, the 1,000, 1,500, 3,000, 5,000, or 10,000? So he didn't win the 3,000, but Correct. I'm sure he won the 3,000 at Junior Worlds. Correct, but they didn't the have men, it. Yeah. They, they only skate the 3,000 at Junior Worlds. Yeah. Wow. By the way, I often wonder, it's the same thing in some of the track thing. Why would you skate 10,000 meters when you can be famous for skating 500? But that's up to him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Packers or Bears? Uh Okay. Uh, I grew just, up in Illinois for a lot of years, but you can't help but follow that, the Packers. That's you know, just for they Trevor. They come into play on. That was you know, just the for me. Reports, John's best friend with the head coach. Goals, whatever. Not best friends. Okay. Uh, quick. This is, this is how much does a pair of skates cost? If I want to speed skate. Hmm. Oh, oh gosh, this is a, a question for my husband. I'm gonna say. Um, probably close to $2,000 with Whoa. the boot and because the boot is molded to your foot and then there's the blade, I probably close to, yeah, two, wow. $3,000. I like, I don't, that's not my territory. That's my husband's yeah. territory. How often do you have to sharpen the blades? Um, it depends on where you are, but, um, with the, it, the tracks inside now and, and it's not as dirty you can get away with every couple of weeks. Okay. Um, but if you're racing, like, let's say you've been training on them for, you know, two weeks, you're for sure going to sharpen them before you race. Okay. Is there really such a thing as fast ice? Yes. So um, <laughs> it's part of, it's part of the, the water that they use. They can use deionized water. And then that makes it faster, number one. And when, you, like I said earlier, when you're at altitude, mm -hmm. um, that's faster. And part of that is, you know, maybe going through the air easier or whatever, <laughs> but it still makes the ice faster. So, yes. That's crazy. And the yeah. last one I have, so between you and the family, I've seen the table. Um, and I, and 
with all sort of due respect to Sarajevo and what's happened in Yugoslavia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, if I want to go vacation somewhere, do I want to go to Sarajevo, Sarajevo, Calgary, Albertville, Lillehammer, or Nagano? Um, I guess I'm going to say Lillehammer. Um, just because I think you're probably closer to the mountains that way. You could go skiing easier. Mm -hmm. um, Albertville, like where we were, it was a little bit of a hike to get to where the mountains were. Same thing with Calgary. But if you like hockey, <laughs> you should probably just go to Calgary because then you could go see the flames. <laughs> nice. Yes. And former Badger coach Bob Johnson. Back in yeah. the day where he left Trevor, that might've been, no, that was after your time that he, that he was there. Um, I have a Calgary connection. My I've, brother played for the Stampeders. Uh, yeah. Like I was in Calgary, minutes. which, Oh, and by the way, my brother was also your kid's high school biology teacher. Small world. Yep. Can't make there it. There you go. <laughs> he said, hi. and you guys are just now figuring this out. Yeah, well, it's, it was that whole Crookshank thing that threw him for a loop. And then all of a sudden, Blair came through and he's like, got it, got it. Now I know him. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, well, well, hopefully, Bonnie, they had we good could... progress reports. <laughs> Bonnie, we're grateful that you joined us on Inside Wisconsin. Your Wisconsin story, albeit that didn't start until 1983, is one that none of us will ever forget. So uh, on behalf of all of us, it's been great to catch up with you. Thank you so all much. All right. Yeah, thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Um, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed the games and um, you've got a little bit more of a special place in your heart for the sport of speed skating. And um, let's hope we can build it back up. Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. All right. Sure thing. Shut up and sit down. <laughs>